Because once you achieve all of them, you're gonna want more. Stop complaining and start doing. Hello, good morning, good afternoon, good evening, wherever you are in this world, we are here again for another Coffee with C. I was inspired by my Uber driver in Montana. Shout out to you, Otto. Otto is a 73-year-old retired military veteran. If you need a great Uber driver, here he is. We were talking about a lot of stuff and then suddenly we got to conversation about contentment. What is contentment? Contentment is appreciating where you are and what you have in life rather than complaining or moaning about it. After my conference in Montana, I went straight to the airport to come back home. There were these three gentlemen. I overheard what they were talking about because we were at the gate waiting for us to board. I travel a lot for work. I'm tired of seeing different places. I hate my job. My assistant didn't book the window seat for me. He wanted the window seat, not an aisle seat. I bought a MacBook Pro and it didn't come with a color blue. What a life. How could you complain about these things? Just listening to these type of people just made me wanna cry. How to start it? You have to learn how to avoid minimizing the positives and amplifying the negatives. You should not be looking at other person's journey, see what they have and wish for it. You might feel discontented until you achieve all your goals in life or until you possess all the material things you want to have. When in reality, achieving all your goals and possessing all the things that you want will only give you a temporary happiness because you're gonna want more as humans we tend to see what's missing in our lives and we tend to emphasize what we are lacking we have to rewire our brain to think differently and express daily gratitude I mean most of you already know this but it's hard to put in practice every day try our best to think of the great things that we are thankful for no matter how big or small when you start thinking about this, you will realize that you have far greater list of blessings than your current troubles. By becoming more grateful, you start to view your life as a blessing, not something that you are just being dragged on. I do acknowledge that human beings have the tendency to want more. It's okay to want more, but at the same time, enjoy the journey. You just have to keep walking on the path and work towards that continuous growth. We need to grow where we are planted. And the key to being contented is embracing and appreciating what you currently have at the moment. I am not saying you should be complacent or settle where you are in life. In fact, you should dream big and work towards it. Stop complaining and start doing. There is a huge difference between contentment and happiness. We cannot be happy all the time. There will be things that will put us down. There will be things that make us sad. It, there are just those days and it's normal. Life has its ups and downs and it's completely normal not to feel happy all the time. There is no human being that's happy 24-7 and if there's one, Kudos to you. That's the beauty of humanity. We have emotions. We go through this cycle and that's what makes us human. Don't ever beat yourself up and think that there's something wrong with you just because you're unhappy at times. But you can be contented most of the time. It's a choice. It's about reframing your mindset. For example, of the three gentlemen that I overheard in the airport. Instead of complaining that you travel a lot for work and you are so tired seeing different places. Be thankful that you have a job. Be thankful that you have two eyes and have the opportunity to see these beautiful places. Instead of complaining about the aisle seat, be thankful that you get to have a flight it's available for you at that time. You have an assistant that does the booking for you. 
being contented has nothing to do where you are and what you are in life. It's a choice that you make on every situation that is thrown at you. It's a mindset that you carry every day. The thing is, the more materialistic people are, the less satisfied they are with their lives. Contrary to popular belief, money is not the answer for contentment. I know a lot of people who are very wealthy in terms of money and material things. But the thing is, there is a huge void inside. Material things do come and go. Find meaning in your life. What makes you happy? Your inner core, your values, the intangible things. Those things are something that no one can take away from you. Is it doing good to people? Is it being kind? Is it helping your friends? There's got to be something that makes you happy inside. There are a lot of things in life that we should be thankful for. And that is, number one, we are breathing. Life means opportunity. Every day we are given an opportunity. What does that mean? Is that we get another opportunity in life to get to where we want to be. It's okay not to be happy all the time, but if you are contented, it will give you this peace. You get to accept it's okay where I am right now. This is temporary. I will be working towards where I want to be. But at the same time, I am not complaining. The great thing about contentment is that you get fulfilled inside while you have others struggle at the same time. That's because contentment emphasizes the good, the greatness in your life while you are simultaneously working on the bad. Be grateful for all the things that you have accomplished and be proud of yourself. You have gone through a lot of challenging things in life and you're still here. You didn't give up. And on top of that, you have another opportunity to keep going because you are alive. But that's about it for today. Thank you so much for your messages. Keep them coming. I create videos every week for you guys. Comment down below. Send me a private message. And your topic may be next. So keep on watching. I will see you again in my next video. Until next time.